everybody. We are in the exact same spot where we stopped last night. Didn't even move an inch. That is fantastic. That's great news to wake up and find out you haven't moved. I'm in Dryden, Ontario, up in Canada. We're gonna go north up to Red Lake, Ontario, deliver these shingles that I have on my trailer that I picked up in Minneapolis, Minnesota, in the States. Drop them off, then we're gonna take the empty trailer home, go home for a reset, and then we have a special trip planned after my reset. Uh, we're gonna stretch our legs a little bit more and uh, go see somewhere that we haven't been in a little while. See some new scenery. We'll talk more about that as it approaches. Let's get out there on the road. The sun hasn't woken up yet, but that's okay. I'm getting used to this. Since I've become a dad, I've become a lot more used to being up early in the morning. I don't know if it's a natural instinct or if it's something that just naturally happens, but here we are up before the sun again and feeling good got my coffee let's go get it i slept a little bit longer than i wanted to i'm in no rush i was planning on being at uh, the receiver before they even opened oh these guys did not leave me a lot of space here yikes this guy's just asking for someone to rip his hood off oh, bless you. be me. I was planning on being there a little earlier. I don't have any set time. I have to be there. So uh, I end up sleeping a little bit longer and getting a good sleep. It's important to be rested on the road. We're not late. Not even close to it. I'll still be there when they open. And they're just expecting me sometime today. Anytime today. go get this delivered and run home to the family. I'm still planning on being home before supper today. I'll probably just have less time to tinker around in the shop and get the truck all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you guys all know what that flashing white light means on that vehicle in front of me, right? Flashing white light like that means that's a school bus filled with kids. You always want to give them extra space. Don't get too close. Destination on the left side, into 180 meters. It's a 
pretty big town up here. I wonder what their main industry is. Like, there must be something up here that's attracting people to come live here, right? Probably mining or something. That went pretty quick. We had to clean up all of my equipment and stuff as we went. Took about one hour. And there's one pile of my stuff there, bunches back there, some went inside. What do we got over here? Oh, it's just wood. Okay, thought those were rocks. Wouldn't want rocks going through your windshield if you were behind me, right? Okay, I need to go home and have a shower. You'd think that in wintertime because it's so cold, you don't sweat as much. Oh no, you sweat more. Because we have to wear all these layers, right? My jacket is back here. Gotta wear all these layers. And then your body can't breathe, so it just sweats and everything just gets soaked. Like even just going out there now to show you what we did. Now I'm cold, because I'm just soaked in sweat. And I took my jacket off already. Oh, winter time, winter time. And look at my pants, like, it's just, I'm just filthy. I'm just a filthy, filthy guy right now. Let's go home. Let's have a shower. That's gonna feel so good. Oh, first things first, I gotta get these big winter boots off and I've gotta change clothes. I am not driving all the way home soaked in my own sweat, just sitting in it. It's gross. Then my seat gets, you, you know, you know how it works, right? You sit on it and you sit on your seat for a long time after you sweat quite a bit your seat has a different uh, uh just it's not pleasant afterwards so no it's not a good idea i always bring lots and lots and lots of clean clothes this is the well this will be the second pair of clothes i wear today but very often i'll go through three pairs of clothes in a day like everything socks underwear shirt pants sweaters because I'll wake up in the morning, put on a fresh pair of clothes, go load my trailer, sweat, finish, get in my truck, change clothes, go unload my trailer, sweat, change clothes again, and then finish my day in a clean pair of clothes. It all depends on the day, where I'm at. And uh, it's not always like that. But there is a Timmy's here like we saw on the way in. I was looking on Google Maps and I don't think I can get it anywhere near it on a truck or with a truck. Timmy's for us.
Okay, so I'm running the bunk heater again on another uh, round of kerosene. And it's running well. I couldn't get it running this uh, last night. It started pretty much right away now, but I also pulled apart the fuel pump underneath there that's uh, mounted onto the frame by the gas, the fuel tank. I pulled the fuel pump out of there and I pulled the filter out of there and cleaned the filter. Now, technically I know when I pull out that filter, I should put a new filter in there, but I don't have a new filter right now. So I cleaned it out really good, dried it out. It looks brand new. Put it back in there, put it in there tight, checked it, it's not leaking, nothing like that. And this thing started up right away. It is running on kerosene, so it's a little better than diesel fuel, but uh, I couldn't get it running before and now it's running. So I'm hoping that just by cleaning that little fuel filter by the fuel pump, that it made a difference. We'll see on my next trip. I've got to get going home. It's, uh, I told my wife I'd be home by six o'clock. Oh, and it's 20 to six right now. Okay. So I've got to get things cleaned up a little bit. Next week we'll be headed down uh, on a special trip. I haven't told you yet, that's right. I almost told you now, I almost just spilled the beans. You gotta follow the next couple of days and uh, you'll find out. If you remember, you'll uh, know sooner because you get early access to the videos. But, uh, we'll get this whole truck washed so that we can start this special trip with a nice clean truck. Still not real. Doesn't sound the healthiest though, right? It's running. So don't mind that noise over there. I just gotta let that run for as long as I can. So you guys remember I was asking you what the best uh, rust sealant is? Uh, to work on my frame a little bit. You guys said POR15. I'm not doing an ad for them or anything, but I'm taking your advice. So thank you for all of your comments in the comment section. Uh, I'm gonna give this a shot. Paint directly over rust, seals rust permanently. No need to remove rust before applying for metal substrates only. And I also got that degreaser. I got a uh, top coat here. And uh, what do I got here? I got metal prep. And the degreaser is still on the way, so I'm still waiting for that to come in probably tomorrow. I don't know when I'm gonna start working on that, but uh, you know, when I do have time to start this project of working on this frame a little bit, little bit by little bit. Uh, I can do one section at a time, clean it off really well, degrease it, do the metal prep on it, then do the rust sealant on it, and then do the top coat on it. I mean, it's not gonna be like professional sandblasted and painted to be perfect, but the metal frame will be sealed and protected from rusting. Uh, it seals it from, uh, you can say oxygen and moisture can't get onto it. Thereby, obviously, it can't rust and oxidize. Is oxidize the right word? Why does that sound funny to me? You know what I mean, though. <laughs> I'm going to start working on that as soon as I can, but not today. Uh, it's not a big rush to get it done, but I just wanted to have the materials here so that I, I was ready when I had time. So I could just quickly get at it, get her done. What you find? Look at that, you can almost reach the top of your chair already. The whole reason for life. To get home to family. The whole reason we go out there for work. So I'm gonna enjoy my time at home. Not sure if there'll be a video tomorrow or not, but I'm only home for a reset, so we're might skip a day here, so be prepared. Lately, I've been trying to release my videos at 4 p.m. Central Time. That seems to be working really well. A lot of you seem to be online around that time. So I'm going to try to continue to do that. But there may not be one tomorrow. Maybe I'll release a, uh, a live stream or something, but I'll, I'll let you know. So just make sure that you're subscribed down below, if you don't mind. Hit that little bell button. That'll let you know if there's a new post from me, whether a video or a post. And if you want early access to my videos, if you've made it this far in the video and you like them that much and you want to jump on board the, the members crew on TJV here, there's also a join button down below each video there. You can join for a, a cup of coffee a month pretty much and you get early access to my videos and you also get access to special videos that are for members only. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you again real soon. Those toys, right, Theo?
Oh, there you go. You figured it out. That's his cupboard he can go into. He's got a cup of water in there. Wow, there you go. Well, I'm sure it's going to close on your face. <laughs> Mission accomplished. There you go. Good job. His favorite toys. Very good. Very good. What you can do. Yeah, put it in there. Very proud of himself. He's learned how to put a smaller one inside a big one. But if Dad does it, it's all wrong. Yeah, I can never do it right. I don't know. I'm not very good at it. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, you gotta bite it first. Sorry, I didn't know that. Okay. It all goes over. And get distracted along the way. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi. You wanna hold the camera? Okay. See? Hey, hey yo, who's this? Who's that? Here. Grab it. Grab it like this. There. Oh. Okay. No, you wanna hold it this way. Hold it this way. Yeah. Not on the lens. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Okay. There you go. We don't have to look at it yet. It's a work in progress. No, no, you don't hit them. They're good people. Uh -huh. Now they're upside down. We'll get there yet. <laughs>